Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back for a quick test of our 3D printed Tinkercad hooks. So let's get cracking. Friends, if you haven't seen this, I'll make sure there is a link up above to the tutorial. What happens is this gets screwed to a wall, and in the exact same area, you get to hang two items. Friends, it is time to send it to the printer, but I'm going to actually make it a little bit smaller. So right here you can see it is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 centimeters long. I'm going to grab the entire project, do control D, because I never like to lose my original. And then I'm going to simply grab it, making sure I only have the new one. And I'm going to do shift scale, and I'm going to take it down so it's under 10 centimeters. I think that is still going to be effective. I'm also going to do a mod up here. We attach this with a screw in this area. Check this idea out. I'm going to bring out a cylinder. I'm going to make it totally round. I'm going to move it out here for a second as I shrink it. I think eight millimeters is what I want. And then I'm going to lift that up. I'm going to do control up and I'm going to give myself an area that is flat for the screw to be attached to. So right now I've got that lined up so it's real close to right in the center of that spot. I'm going to push it in a couple clicks. And when I group it, check it out, we'll have a flat space for our screw to be attached. I think that makes the whole process a little bit smarter. Maybe even have a washer in there. I will remind you I added my own supports. Right now I'm going to hide the other project so that I'm sure I only grab the new one. And let's choose export as a STL. I'm going to save it to my 3D modeling folder. It's the hook bent pipe tutorial in under 10 minutes. I'm going to just do hook bent pipe. I don't need all those other words in the file name. And let's hit save and let's load it in Kira. I'm going to print this on my GE Tech A10T. Here you can see I've got the A10T loaded. Of course, let's click open folder. I've already got it set to go to my 3D modeling folder and boom, there is the bent pipe. Now if you look underneath this, I've got a couple supports as it goes around the corner. I also flattened out this edge, so I think that's going to turn out pretty darn slick. It auto slices and it's going to take an hour and 30 minutes. I'm going to check my settings, 0.3 for my layer height, wall thickness of 1.2, top bottom of 0.8. I'm going to change this to 20. I'm going to keep 205, 60, and 60 for my print speed. And then I do not want to raft. Watch this change as I switch back to my normal skirt. Still extruder one, six lines, 10 millimeters apart. And instead of an hour and 39, we are down to an hour and 19 minutes. And there you can see it connected via USB. So my friends, let's hit print via USB. Alrighty friends, so if you were watching closely, the supports broke off and uh, as much as that's a bummer, it actually, it also ends up being kind of cool because it proves that it could handle printing that without supports. 
that's not all that bad. This little bit of material here, this actually is the support material. I'm gonna clip that off with clippers. Also trim off these little areas that aren't quite as perfect as I'd like. But as you can see, that turned out pretty darn awesome. Now it's ready to be mounted on a wall. Alrighty friends, so when I scaled it down, that makes this hole just a little bit smaller. But I found a screw. Let's see if we can attach it and give it a test. Alrighty friends, so it is screwed onto the wall. I did put it right in the middle, which was an oops. I was just missing because I wasn't really looking. I was just trying to get it aimed. All right, so let's start by trying the hook in the back. As you can see, that works pretty darn nifty. And for the second one, friends, I'm going to hang up a hoodie. How cool is that? All right, everybody, so let's do a quick review. We have learned how to manipulate the bent pipe in Tinkercad to make awesome designs. Right now, in my mind, I'm picturing making a triple hook instead of a double hook. There are so many ways that you can explore, play, and make your very own creations. Now, friends, I am back on my website, hlmodtech.com. Don't forget I have the tab dedicated to Tinkercad. There are categories, and then also tremendous beginner lessons. And finally, there is the sweet built-in messaging tool where you can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I highlight that because this project was inspired by a user. Friends, I do also want to remind you that up above, there is the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are more than 600 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget, if you take time to add a comment down below, it absolutely makes my day. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day